Hi, this is Dowsbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. We're at the end, we're, we're basically about halfway through the second month in the Magic That Bind scenario in the Masters of the Elements campaign, and we have another text message here. I've been getting dirty looks from the student mages whenever they thought I wasn't looking. Until now, I never cared if these magic users liked me, but I was going to have a major problem if they ceased obeying me, especially during combat. I needed to rely on them, but as they needed to rely on me. Normally, I'd bring such a problem up to the mage instructor, Hemorals, but lately I've gotten the idea he doesn't want to talk to me. It seems that even though I've decided to remain here in the plane of magic, I've made some enemies. Okay, so basically... Yeah, that last teal hero that came up with the mostly... Um, Tatalian slash Budlander troops. That was the last of the heel of the teal heroes. So we basically control the teal area, and we're just flagging things now. In there. We're basically flagging everything we can find and exploring. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Soul Mirror, I'm basically going to wait until the start of the new week and then bring the next week's troops. Uh, astral. Already has troops. Which I can bring to Tarnum here. Actually, I can give... Carnum is all a lot of enchanters for now. Which really stinks. I've been having money to visit the stat moves, but that it's absolutely necessary. And R Cyro's going to take those air elementals back to the former Air Lord's castle. Okay, it's Mongoose week now. I think if Tarn can get up to 45 straight water elementals, we'll convert them to storm element. I mean, uh, ice elementals. Well, 
Okay, we'll hire Ainu to be a garrison hero. Troops in the former Air Lord's castle. I think we should still have enough resources for everything. Oh, yeah. Just barely. Have Solmir start bringing up reinforcements and things and start collecting pixies. This will not bother. Okay. Actually, Syra can't afford to upgrade anyone yet. Next turn, maybe. Yeah, you might remember that one scenario where we were on the plane of water. Navigation was a skill that became rather useful.
Hey. Yep. That should give him enough. Actually, I think I'll give Astral those few gremlins. Yeah. Of course, it's probably pretty foolish of Astral to go that far with that beacon army. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's prop those black dragons are probably guarding the way to where those color coded gates are. Okay. Thane has enough pixies now. Yeah. 
Rissa and Thane might have to retreat sometime in the near future. filled with whispers each night, except when I'm around. That's when everyone becomes deathly quiet, as if I was the one they'd been talking about. I'm convinced something's going on, and I'm afraid this is the sort of conspiracy that usually ends in death. Last night after dinner, I returned to my tent because no one seemed in the mood to talk. I wasn't about to sit around and do nothing about the secrets flying through my camp, but I couldn't strong-arm the men into talking. These witches already disliked my tactics, so... I resorted to magic. I've had control over air magic for some time now, so it was easy for me to make the air around the camp thinner. Then I grabbed the vibrations of even the softest sound and directed them toward my own ear. Suddenly I was able to hear the conversations of every person in camp as if they were standing right next to me. First, I found Remus mumbling to himself about elemental magic. He was alone, so I searched out another familiar voice. I smiled. Sometimes magic had its uses. I'm not so sure that's why, said Ponifik hesitantly. I mean, he's managed to get us this far, hasn't he? Fool! He doesn't care about a single one of us. He's leading us all to our deaths, I tell you. Listen to his own words. He despises wizards. He's a barbarian, I say. I was certain this last voice belonged to Hemoros, the mage instructor. Don't be silly. He's the best wizard I've seen. Maybe even as good as Gavin Magnus. No barbarian spy could do that. Look at him. He's as much said as said so himself. He hates wizards. You'll see, and you'll be sorry. Most of the other whispered conversations in camp were about me. Nearly everyone suspected that I was a barbarian spy determined to bring about the downfall of King Magnus. Some even claimed I got us lost as a elemental planes on purpose. I ended my spell and took a drink of wine. Hadn't realized it had gotten this bad. Okay, so... Tardum is ready to get moving. Yeah. That's the colored gate, so we're not going to go that way yet. We'll be coming back here eventually, though. That's already been flagged. Alright, teleport spell. Hopefully, they don't get ambushed by the. Oh, wait a minute. 
So who's left? Yeah, just me. Okay, that's the gateway to the fire elemental area. Okay, we're not going to try having Okay. So, basically we're going to head back. Great. Should have moved Syra first. Okay, well, we found the entrance to the Fire Lord's area. So we're going to have Tarnum reach there, break through, and take out the the Fire Lord's area in the next episode, and we will see you then.